in stacking up today. Joe Cusick at the Cusick Group is here to talk about a number of stocks, starting with Symantec. Now, good to have you on the show. Thank you, Angie. This is a company that deals with hackers and viruses, mm -hmm. all things horrible in computers. So where do you see this stock going? Well, I think this antivirus stock has been on a tear uh, as of late. It's hitting its head above 24. Uh, yesterday I saw a strategist actually do something that I tell clients that they have to look to do when they're managing their option positions, which is when they see with a bullish opportunity some headwinds, they need to manage their position. In this case, I saw a large trade in January. Uh, looks like it was a roll from the January 24 calls, 30,000 contracts traded. Looks like they rolled up to the 26 calls. Uh, 30,000 times. And they look like they did that for around a 70 cent debit, or mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, a 70 cent credit. It looks like they're managing a winner. Uh, okay. I don't know when the in initial purchase was on the 24s, but uh, it was a very large trade, one that you want to keep an eye on. And Symantec, you know, again, with more and more uh, systems coming under pressure as far That's as true. security, you want to keep an eye on these types of tech and names. This stock has been a winner. Sure. Let's move on to the drug arena. Yep. And Abby is the name that you're watching. There's a lot of drug news lately. Sure, and you know what? That's an antiviral. Uh, a different so, kind. Yeah, a different kind. Um, Abby is one of those um, biotech stocks you want to keep an eye on because they also pay a very large dividend. Okay. And that does bring in yield investors, and especially if rates aren't going to move, we're going to see what Yellen's going to stay at towards the end of the week in Jackson Hole. Let's watch Abby from that respect as well. 14,000 of the September 70 calls traded. Now that's out of the money, Angie. So that looks like there's a strategist that's positioning for some upside in AVV between now and September expiration. So they only have about a little over three and a half weeks. That could be a fast rally. Yeah. So you never know. Right. You don't know. Just but to pop up at the stock could come in one day and. Exactly. It could either be with a product related, something in the pipeline, or it could be the fact that someone's just looking to add a nice dividend paying high yield stock to their portfolio. And AVV is one of those stocks that people like to look at, especially in this range. Now, Starbucks is on your list. Starbucks comes up on the show a lot. What are they predicting about Starbucks at this point? You know what, right now what they're doing is, is they're looking at Starbucks and saying, even though there might be some retail stress that might come in, Starbucks isn't going to be one of them. Uh, it looks like there's some upside call activity. Specifically, I've seen October been trading a lot. The $57.5 calls have been trading. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very interesting since there is a lot of scuttlebutt out there that maybe some retailers, not just on the close side, you know, because we're right back to school, right. but also where those, um, where the consumer makes those discretionary type of opportunities. Sure, if there's some extra spending. Yeah, if there's parents it, are up early. Right, parents. I need that Starbucks. Yeah, that started this Taking week. the kids to school. Exactly. Um, and the kids are now buying Starbucks and because they have a diverse. That. It well, stunts your growth, by the way. No. Well, just... you know what? They have a diversity <laughs> of, of product offerings, but it's very interesting. And I think, again, also, too, with Starbucks with the decent dividend. Mm -hmm. And I'm throwing that out there only because we don't know where rates are. And right now, right. rates don't look like they're going to be raised. And again, like I said, we're going to watch Jackson Hole and Yellen's comments. But uh, I think that you're going to see that some dividend and yield um, type investors and traders are going to be looking at names like this. Thank you. You're welcome.